Good morning and welcome to Friday. This week I transferred my long run from Thursday to Friday. So today is Friday and it is my long run day and I'm going to vlog what I eat in a day on a long run day because I think that that is the day that represents um, nutrition for endurance running uh, the best. So if you want to see how I fuel for performance but also recovery then uh, stick around and hang out with me today. I'm going to start with breakfast. I have had coffee and water already. That's how I always start my day. So I'm going to make my breakfast now and that is the porridge that I like to have. Uh, also before the race on, on the race morning and it is made out of mostly buckwheat and a little bit of oats just to give it a good uh, porridge texture and I sometimes put honey in it today I think I'm gonna just have a uh, banana and some berries and that's that's pretty much it it's very easy to be honest it's not my favorite breakfast in the world but it does give me very good energy and I like how it makes me feel so I'm going to have that now and I'll have something more interesting for lunch. <music> breakfast is ready like I said I have uh, buckwheat oats and chia seeds I also have banana blueberry and raspberry and I have cinnamon and I have uh, cardamom actually because it's my favorite spice and I'm also gonna have some more water and to this I'm going to add my favorite uh, hydration tabs it's noon this is the one without caffeine. I don't need that right now, at least. And this is one of my favorite flavors. It's orange. And this just helps with hydration by supplying um, electrolytes. And I like it because it doesn't really taste much. It tastes like orange, but very mildly so. And it's not sweet. There. Breakfast time. You gonna have breakfast? Come then. Are you gonna show what you eat in a day? One scoop in the morning and one in the evening. So I've had breakfast now and I am going to get ready and get on with my day. But before I do that, I am going to do two things in preparation for tonight's long run. And I thought I would show you what those are. I'm gonna make ice for my ice bath. The second thing is I'm gonna prepare my running kit so everything is laid out and ready for me when I'm gonna go run. So my kit is ready. I have this outfit. I'm sorry about that. It's just her. <laughs> um, I have my outfit ready and I haven't decided yet if I'm going to bring this one. Uh, actually to keep my phone in. If I'm recording it might be easier to get my phone out of that one. But I have my belt which I'm currently using. I have not had it taken in yet. But it works. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm probably gonna fill two of the bottles. I have my compression socks and normal socks. I'm gonna use these shoes. 
and these gels are from high five i have one with berry flavor and then i have one citrus flavored and the citrus flavored has caffeine as well so i'm not sure if i will use both probably not but i always bring one more than i think i need just in case and um, i take the first one probably around seven or eight kilometers and that will probably be the berry one and then i save the one with caffeine for later if i need it um heart rate monitor uh, my watch i'm gonna wear now so it's not here and then all i'm missing is um my headphones this is the naughty child that is making a lot of noise <laughs> forgot to say that I had some coconut water for extra hydration and I'm watching Becca Burstow I will leave her link I will leave a link to her YouTube down in the description she is amazing for nutrition videos and she also does running it is 6 30 right now and I'm having another noon this is the cherry limeade and this contains caffeine I feel like I need a little boost right now and i'm just having it in half a liter of water i don't want to drink too much uh so close to my run and i'm also taking a few of the supplements um that i take that does not make me drowsy maca root extract 5 htp and vitamin b complex so that's what that looks like i will take the rest of my supplements when i get back from my run this color though and it's all natural okay so a small update i'm just sitting here having my electrolytes with caffeine that i just showed you and i'm coming across some news on facebook which explain a lot and that is that we are expecting uh, a storm to pass over the next few days and i'm very sensitive to weather changes so i think this is why i was not feeling very well yesterday and also today i'm not feeling like i have any fire in me if you know what i mean like i feel a little bit like just tired and i don't think that there should be any rain today although i do love running in the rain so i'm not actually mad about this <laughs> so long as we don't have too much thunder and lightning uh, i'll be happy to run in the rain over the next few days i think i'm gonna start getting ready for my run now i usually feel better after a run anyway because i have low blood pressure and when i run it improves so this bum though that bum though maria are you feeling the weather changes hello Okay, I just realized that my Garmin is about to die. So I guess I'm tracking this run on my Strava, on my phone, I mean. Okay, here we go. Gonna go slow down to the beach. That's about two kilometers. And then from there, I will pick up the pace. And if nothing very interesting happens, I will speak to you when I take my gel. So see you soon. Almost five kilometers in, and except for a minor blister, I'm doing really good right now. Look at it, so beautiful! It gives me so much energy. Uh, yeah, I'll see you at the halfway point. Okay, so I just turned around, uh, still feeling very good. I'm gonna take my gel now because I know that I will need it. I'm not taking the berry one without the caffeine. I don't need it. I am high on life right now. It's very sweet this one. Can't say that I like it much. But it's okay on my stomach. That's why I take it. Forgot to say that I have just 
water with me. Uh, if I didn't have the gel, I might have taken a noon. But with the gel, I don't need it. It is very hot to eat, though. But seriously, even with the cool breeze, it's very hot. Time to push on home. It's getting really dark now, but I'm loving it. Here are people still very hot, sweating, but enjoying the scenery. Look, look at the moon. Just here, the waves. Ah, I love life. All to myself. You guys can have the clubs tonight on this Friday. I'll much rather have this. Okay, back in Puerto Llano. 13 kilometers. Gonna slowly jog home now. Two kilometers to go. The final kilometer is a steep incline. Yay! But feeling good though. Need to pee. And I'm starting to get hungry to be honest. So I will see you at home. Done. And now the real race starts. Foam rolling. Stretching. How fast can I do it? How fast can I do it? Okay, here I am, back home, stretching, and about to take an ice bath, and that's going to be very enjoyable, <laughs> uh, but it's very good for recovery, and it's actually also good for increasing endurance. I did some stretching, did some foam rolling, and now Feel the bathtub with ice. Come on. It's that time. It's that time. Oh! Better get your sweater out. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with. The last meal of the day I have a um, salad but I have a lot of um, beetroot hummus there in the middle it's topped with some parsley and I have two eggs for extra protein I am also going to be taking the rest of my supplements I have this one for uh, my joints and I take zinc turmeric omega-3 and some more magnesium and i have some more water um that concludes four liters of water today not including um the coffee and the coconut water and finally i think i'm gonna be having some of this popcorn it says it's with coconut and cocoa if that means that it's with chocolate i am very very happy but let's see so that is all for today. One more thing. Mm. Bon appetit. Okay guys, it is time to eat uh, my last meal of the day, which I just showed you. What else did I want to say? Uh, the run, I think, ended up being 14.7 or 14.8 kilometers. Uh, but I, look at her, this is just what she does, you little clown, you clown, show off, that's her party trick, I have my food here, that's why, <laughs> um, what was I saying, uh, but I can't trust the Strava, 
like I said, my watch was dying, so I tracked the run on the Strava app on my phone. And it says that I was running at uh, a pace of 514, which is definitely not true. And when I look at the splits, there are two splits that are like 230, like two minutes and 30 seconds per kilometer, which is just ridiculous. So, um, but it doesn't really matter. I have, um, I don't want to say I've had some problems, but I've had some, oy, I've had some obstacles with my running recently and I haven't um, told you about it yet, but I will soon in one of my next videos. So I'm just happy that I completed the distance today and I really enjoyed it. And uh, at the end of the day, that is what matters to me. So I'm going to enjoy my food now. Just eating these popcorns and watching BuzzFeed Unsolved to scare the crap out of myself before bedtime because what else to do on a Friday night, right? By the way, these are with chocolate and coconut and they are delicious. So I finished the popcorn. It was delicious and I will most definitely buy it again. Um, but now I'm going to bed. It is almost 1 a.m. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Subscribe for more tricks, please.